Hey Floss Tube, it's me, Pam. I'm doing a little bit of a Floss Tube extra today instead of my normal Floss Tube. Um, if you are finding me for the first time, welcome. Um, normally I film Floss Tubes on Monday in which I talk about all things cross stitch that I've done since you've seen me last. Um, but I've got a tight schedule today, so I thought I could take maybe 10 minutes to do a little tour of how I store my stitchy stash in this QB thing behind me, which is new to me. So I'm not sure, it's a work in progress. But anyway, I'm gonna turn you around and um, I'll show you what's in here, okay? All right, It'll you might get a little dizzy at first cause I'm not good with technology, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, so this is my living room. This is where I stitch. And that's my that's my stitchy chair. And here is my stitchy organization. It's a Calax system from Ikea. And I figured I'd show you everything I got going on. So these two shelves are my whips. Um, actually, this is empty at the moment because I UFO'd something. But these are all my works in progress. More than I feel like I should have. This is my Bridgerton box. So technically it's not a whip yet, but it will be at some point. Um, this is empty. That's pretty obvious. I don't have anything going on in there yet um, because I plan on also using this to store my photos and my family history research. So I haven't filled every space yet. Um, these are, I don't remember what I've done with these. Oh, okay. This is projects that are in the process of being kitted up. This is projects I have already kitted up and my little um, extra project trackers, cards. And then this is my magazines. And I've got uh, like a cross stitch book in there. This box is how I am currently storing my fabric. So that's all my fabric stash. Not sure how I feel about that. If I don't want a cube that goes all the way up, so like it, the fabric's more protected. Um, not sure. This is my DMC, and this is a box where I keep all of my fancy floss. Let's move my DMC up into the empty spot for a sec. So this is all my extra like gentle arts and forbidden fiber co little random silks I get crescent colors. That's where I keep all that. Can't get my box closed now. And um, these are uh, bullet journals from past years. That's my button jar. That's just a little decoration in an empty spot right now. That seems pretty obvious. <laughs> this is yarn and um, chenille trim for finishing projects, but my yarn projects are in here. My knitting projects, I guess, might be a better... Here we go. Um, of which I'm, none of that's really going well for me, so maybe I'll be passing that along at some point. That's empty. Not sure what I'm doing with it yet. It's just filling space. This is where I keep all of the stuff for finishing, like fabric and trim and doodads and stuff. This is empty. I plan on separating some of this stuff out, putting it in here and making it better organized. That is stuff that needs to be shipped out, which I haven't done yet because I'm terrible. Then I've got some drawers office supplies, office supplies, um, office supplies, maybe notebooks. None of that is stitchy related. This is where I put things that need to get put away. And these are my ort jars. That's last, these are last year's orts. They smell like pickles because I have them in a pickle jar. And this is this year's orts. And this is uh, the princess pig. I don't, I don't know. Sometimes when I'm lazy, I stick needles in her. That's terrible. Poor pig. Um, ooh, 
needles. My husband's gonna walk in the door. He's gonna be like, what the heck are you doing? I can hear the garage door opener going now. So this is just sort of basic, like floss drops and corner gauges. So things I need when I'm kidding up a project. And then I've got needle minders, needle, oh, no, scissors and doodads and stuff. Needle minders, um, beads. Yeah, that sort of thing. And then this is just extra stuff too. Hi, hon. I'm not going to turn the camera towards you, but I'm filming a video. He just walked in the door for lunch. Okay, we're going to wrap this up. All right, this is how I'm storing charts at the moment. So we're going to have a conversation about this. This is all my charts and it's just a mess. But I just bought this. It's a hanging file folder. And I'm thinking of putting them in here. How do you store your charts? I think this might be the best system for these cubes. Do you hang them in hanging files? I mean, I don't have... I think all of mine will fit in here. I mean, they're all fitting in this drawer. So it's not a very big drawer. Uh, note cards. This is my stationary cube. Ooh, my cross stitch and country crafts magazines, and then my cross stitch and needlework magazines. Those go in there. That is some of my genealogy stuff. That's our, my family Bible. It's from, I think, 1813. And then, ooh, some more. I've got like spray paint in here and batting and stuff, foam core, stuff like that. And crafty things for all the crafting I don't do. That is my hanging file folder that's, I don't know, 3,000 years old that I keep correspondence in. Ooh, these are interesting. These are like hook, those like hook rugs. And my grandfather made them and I'm not sure what I'm doing with them yet. So they're hanging out in there for now. And then lastly, I've got my crushed walnut shells in here. I've got a bag of bags. I've got a hoop. Those comic boards for storing my fabric. A Q-snap. So like odds and ends. So that's it. That is... That's, that's where everything goes. And if it can't fit there, um, I have to get rid of it. Also, behind, behind here... I keep some foam core, my cutting mat, a scroll rod, because they don't fit in the cubes. All right, that's it. Hopefully I will see you guys on Tuesday or Wednesday. Bye.